And again, if you look at this case that I did, this goes 15 years back at NYU, where before the extraction, you can see that you do have a papilla in place. Only 10 minutes into the extraction, that papilla starts to drop. Why? We don't have that periodontal ligament any longer. That crown is not there to maintain it. It starts to drift. 30 minutes into the surgery, while we're doing our osteotomy, that papilla has even dropped further. And as we continue, we see that only an hour and a half into the procedure, that papilla has already some support from our provisional crown, respecting biology, and all of a sudden it feels a little more comfortable there. And one might think, well, it looks ugly, how's the patient gonna go home like that? But he has to, we have to accept that so that nature, biology, blood clot formation, that papillary area hopefully will fill in if we allow time and leave that space. Thank <laughs> you.